Hi, my name is Emily Grigg. I am from Houston, Texas, and I'm currently studying psychology at BYU. Uh, if I could describe myself in one word, I would say I'm an asker. I love asking questions to understand things better, as well as I love using questions as a way to teach and train others. I feel like it's such a valuable resource and I love using it because it helps them understand it first without me just having to tell and kind of preach at them. I want to be a TRC volunteer trainer because I feel like the TRC experience is probably one of the most important experiences a missionary can have at the NTC because it's really teaching them to implement their purpose and learn to start understanding that. And so I feel like my re I could be a valuable asset because I was a teacher, I was on the other side, so I could really help these TRC volunteers see the vision, see the purpose, see the doctrine of Christ, and try to help the missionaries understand that as well. I, I feel like the doctrine of Christ to me is, is a mindset change. I feel like I, I'm constantly selfish and worldly, and implementing the doctrine of Christ in my life teaches me how to shift away from that, to become more like the Savior and become more divine in nature. And, and I used to think of it as a step, a, like a staircase, a step case, staircase, that's the right word. And so, like, you first do faith, then you do repentance, and then baptism, then the gift of the Holy Ghost, then enduring to the end. And now I see of it as intertwining all of those things so that I can have the mindset of Christ and to learn to get rid of my natural self. And a recent experience I've had with the doctrine of Christ is recently I talked to a friend, a close friend. So I talk, call, was on the phone with her last night and we were just talking, filling each other in about our lives and how things are doing. So it might sound like we're not close because we had to fill each other in because it had been a while since we talked, but I promise we're close or at least I think we're close. Um, and as we were talking, um, my friend opened up about how recently she had been diagnosed with depression and anxiety uh, and how she's been struggling with that a lot for the past few months. And while she was telling me these things, I immediately thought, I need to know what to say to her. Um, and so I thought to myself, what, what would Jesus Christ have me do right now? And it was interesting how I just first felt like I should listen. And so I listened, and as I continually thought, okay, what would Jesus tell my friend right now? What would, she, what would he be doing right now? I felt in my heart questions to ask her. And I asked, I asked these questions. I don't remember what they are, which means they're probably from the Spirit. Well, they were. And as I asked these questions, um, it was interesting how her answers were all implementations of the doctrine of Christ. She talked about how she felt like she really wanted to feel she was renewing her baptismal covenants while taking the sacrament. She wanted to feel like she was being forgiven. She felt like she needed to repent. She was talking about how she needed to change her mindset of who God was and how she felt guilty about that and how she needed to be changing things she was doing. And then she talked about how she hadn't been praying, had been reading the scriptures, and she hadn't been doing the things to really build her faith and keep it strong. And it was just a testament to me how important it is that we implement the doctrine of Christ in, in our lives and how it will help us in all aspects. It won't take away our trials, but it helps us be on the straight and narrow. And that's when we truly feel at peace and feel like we're doing what God wants us to be doing. And that's what is my experience with the doctrine of Christ. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me, call me, and I hope to hear from you soon.